Hello there and welcome back to the F1 2020 My Team Career Mode. We're on a race number 13. Let's give you a look at the point standings. So our three race win streak was canned by Silverstone. Botas with the win though. He's moving up into P2. We still got a huge lead on everybody right now. But out of the Mercedes camp, it looks like Botas is the guy to beat. Verstappen's hanging around third. Our teammate Jordan King has had a phenomenal season. And he's been a podium threat just about every week now. Pierre Gasly's moved up into sixth over his teammate Kvyat. Another strong season by the AlphaTauri cars. We got Ocon, Charles, Perez rounds at your top 10 with the other pink car just on the outside there. 40 points to Lance Stroll. And we'll take a look at the rest of it all the way down to the same four back here. Giovinazzi, DeVries, Latifi, and Grosjean. Now I had about 2,500 resource points. I'm going to show you what I got. So uh, we're taking a break from the durability stuff for now as we pass a couple of teams. Uh, although I, I do want to keep on working on it because uh, I have started, I'm starting to see the difference uh, on just how how everything is worn here in the uh, in the in this. Some of this stuff I've been using for a, a long while now, like 230 some laps. If it was you know the same where I didn't have any durability upgrades, like holy shit, it'd probably be like up in the 40s, 50s percent. So uh, we keep on getting upgrades. I might not have to develop anything else, or uh, the the grid penalties be a lot smaller if I do so. I'd like to keep on working on it, I ain't gonna lie. But as for now, we got some upgrades. So chassis department, we got a weight reduction upgrade just because that was really the only thing I could buy over here, but I wanted to get something since we're third now. And then I got a uh, minor, or excuse me, a major drag reduction upgrade. Now I rushed this one in because it gave me 37%. So I was like, hell yeah, we can get it in. We can, act, we can actually get both of these in. I should be able to at least get the chassis upgrade. This one might fail, but uh, if we get both of them, that'd be pretty nice. All right, so we got a shitload of upgrades. Let's go ahead and start, shall we? Um, hey, we got the durability facility stuff in. I think that's what that was. Power team building. I don't remember. What, uh, oh, that sucks. Well, I know we were expecting some new developments to come through. I got that cockpit weight reduction, whatever. Control. Yeah. Make well, I tried. Thirty-seven percent. I like my odds, but you know. We did get this in, and that unlocks an option to get a major break upgrade, and that's something I've always kind of wanted to do in the F1 games, but I never got around to it. As for this, though, we already got enough resource points. Go ahead, and there we go. Guaranteed upgrade for the next race. So, Once again, a look at the vehicle performance comparison for the rest of the teams. Uh, nothing really has changed all too much. McLaren's still P last. Haas is in there. Williams third. Uh, Alfa Romeo's been kind of bouncing around. They're kind of fourth to last right now, so... Well, that brings us to the Hungaro Ring, the Hungarian Grand Prix. Let's hop into it, shall we? Hey, boss, I've just got out of a meeting with the engineers over in the durability department. They're absolutely thrilled with the developments we've been making. They look to be opening up some really exciting new development opportunities. You can look at the newly available upgrades in the R&D screen. Well, let's take a look, shall we? Well, golly gee. It's race day in Budapest as we get ready for another round of the Formula One World Championship. We don't expect too many retirements at this track. There are plenty of current and former drivers with flawless finish rates here. In particular, Ralf Schumacher. He made it across the line in all 10 of his Hungarian Grand Prix starts. Located 12 miles northeast of the Hungarian capital Budapest, the 14 corners of the Hungaro Ring are steeped in history and prestige. Overtaking has always been difficult on this technical 2.7 mile circuit, but the last few years in particular have turned up some exceptional races. Let's hope we're in for another one here today. Also here, of course, is Anthony Davidson. Let's talk about Wang. They come into this race with a healthy championship lead. I don't want to say the title race is over, but surely it's going to take something special or catastrophic to change the outcome at this point. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves, Crofty. Yes, it looks like a big lead, but all it takes is a locked break into turn one, a sticky wheel nut in the pit stop, and that could all get turned on its head. You can never discount one more sting in the tail. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Wang lines up on pole position, and it's Valtteri Bottas that completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have King. Verstappen, Charles Leclerc and Albon, Hamilton, Kvyat, Gasly and Nobuharu Matsushita, Stroll, Ricardo, Kevin Magnussen and Ocon, Sainz, De Vries, Antonio Giovinazzi and Sergio Perez, Norris, Russell, Latifi and Roman Grosjean sits at the back of the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? Alrighty, well... 
I got my first career pull. I'm not really sure how it happened, but uh, I would assume it was because I I was the last car that went out and it was raining and I, I just got better track. I'll fucking take it though. I was really excited. Fantastic. You've got pole. Take a look at the race strategy here. Uh, looks like a one stopper. Uh, might be in for another boring one. I don't know. This track sucks. <laughs> it really does. We got Jordan starting P3. I don't think I'll be the fastest car here today, but uh, you know, we'll find out. Hey, at least we got a first career pole. That's really great. I was really afraid I was going to go my whole F1 career without getting one. Well, hey, I got one. This will probably be the only one I ever get. What happens if I don't go? No, oh, okay, they just go. Anyways, good enough. All right. Hey, how you doing? Whoa. That was awkward, sorry. Alright, I'm gonna make sure I don't step on my dick here off the start. Ah, balls! No thank you. No thank you! Ah, oh, what the hell? Well, rip. That motherfucker out pulled my shit. Ugh. You know, stay alert for threats around you. All right, now the only threat around me is Jordan King. So I think we're good. All right, well, Botas is quick. That's cool. Well, I would assume Botas is probably more trimmed out than I am, uh, considering how bad he pulled. Shut the fuck up. Considering how much he pulled me off the start, but then he's also killing me. You know, the whole rest of the course, so. Yeah, that's fun. Well, on the bright side, at least it's not Lewis Hamilton, I guess. This is gonna be a long fucking race. I hate this race. I really do. I hate it with my, my whole fucking heart. Not just part of my heart, my whole heart. Fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck that. Whatever the fuck that is. It's the worst chicane I've ever seen. Fuel is looking really good. You're managing it well. Yeah, we just started the race, you fuck. Yeah, I really wish I could have stayed in front of Botas. It's that point now where he's, he's, he's still pulling on me, but not by a whole lot. Like, to the point where if I, you know, if I was still in front of him, I could keep him probably behind me. I just can't believe he out pulled me by that much. I don't know where the fuck my powertrain upgrades went, but... I don't know, I guess we didn't bring him this week. The thing with it, I'm running more downforce. This is more of a downforce track, so it's like it makes you wonder what the fuck the fuck they're doing with the Mercedes car. How they got that much fucking horsepower, but they drag me through every everywhere else. Like they've got more downforce than me too. So I hate this fucking Mercedes piece of motherfuck. The car ahead is beginning to pull away. Wait really, what makes you think that? I don't even know what's wrong with the car, just it has Random losses of traction here and there. I don't know. It's, just a, it's not very smooth. Other than that, though, I mean, it drives okay. I mean, I don't think it has too much downforce in it because it sticks. I don't know. I don't even really stick all that good, but it seems to stick good enough to normally what it usually does. So. Push, push. Use your overtake button. What the fuck do you think I've been doing, man? No matter what I do, I well, cannot change the gap whatsoever. ever. Let's be my fast lap of the race. It's deep in the fucking uh, window. None of the gaps have changed. Actually, I pushed Jordan outside the DRS, so that's cool. Well, the team made the pits. Jordan is coming in for a stop. They'll probably leapfrog me then. Damn, ever stop. I have to in have a big lap. in lap. Push now. All right. All right, here we come. Oh lordy, what the fuck is this? What the hell's a sign at? There we are. Okay, that thing just kept on going around. <laughs> what sure if I was gonna get it slowed down, it just kept on going. Alright, well, I put I, I gained a little bit of time back on Botas, but it ain't gonna matter. I just hope I don't get leapfrogged by my teammate and the other the Red Bull. 
3.1. What? Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. Okay, thank God. I was gonna be, I was gonna be big pissed if I got leapfrog there. All right. Still a 3.1. Come on, I got it down to like. I got it down around two seconds to boat task, so there's an extra seven, eight, ten. So yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, sure. No problem. I thought last week was a boring episode. Oh, boy. I still got plenty of time to shuffle it up, but... I don't know. We're all on the one-stopper, basically, and, well, here, here it is. E even if I... Dude, I've already given up another... Half a second of boat task, apparently. Been hitting my marks, minding my own business, going pretty fast, I think. I give up another half a second. Oh, man. Well, even if I catch him, I doubt I'll be able to get around him, but I'll try to catch him. This is why you get a really big ass championship lead. You know? You're gonna have races where you're just not the fastest car. You're close, but in a situation like this, in a track like this, this track sucks, by the way. Have I mentioned this track sucks? It really fucking sucks. Fucking sucks, big fat one. My thing with this track is the opener, every time you come here, it's like, oh yeah, you know, this track's notoriously hard to pass at. Like, why would you want that on your circuit then? I thought this was supposed to be entertaining. It's already hard enough to pass in Formula One. Yeah, let's just give him a track that's really hard to pass it anyways. Fucking stupid. Out of all the tracks you could possibly go to. You know, on top of it. Oh yeah, fastest lap, cool. Okay, I ran my fastest lap, what was it, 115.7? What was this? I don't know. Who the fuck is this? It's DeVries. Dude, that is like one of the worst possible spots we could catch him. Maybe he'll wait to the front stretch. I don't know if he will. Hey, Nick. There you go. There you go. Yeah, go back here and hold up everybody behind me. Nice. Oh, lordy. That's so stupid. Checking up like that on corner exit. 115.4. That was my lap time. 115. Just like yourself, Otas. What kind of hard tires did Mercedes get? I don't understand. It was the fastest I've run all race. But he just happens to be even faster now. This game likes to cuck me, and I don't like it. I just want to win at this stupid fucking track. I finished second here last season, I think. I don't have a one here. And I finally fucking got my first career pole. Nah, lose it in like turn one. The rate that I still got out pulled by that Mercedes car just still pissing me off. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck the rear tires are doing. I don't know where the rear of the car wants to go. I'd like to go up and, you know, the fucking circuit we've been running the last couple laps there, but. Well, I don't think I'm gonna win. Sucks. I, uh, pretty proud of my pace, though, I gotta say. It's probably, I would, I mean, I would assume it's the fastest I've ever gone around here. The car is about where I want it to be. Uh, except for the random, just kind of like losses of traction here and there, especially in a corner like this. I don't understand why I can't just. I don't know. It's, it's like a new adventure through there every fucking time. All the fancy wings and shit on this fucking car, especially all the aero upgrades we get, I just kind of expect it to stick everywhere, and it kind of just doesn't. But it's still really not that slow. I just I'm still drive it, you know. I just I wish I wish it would stick a little better. Like right there, I just want to gently get on the gas and kind of want it to hook up. It doesn't do that a whole lot. I understand it there. This corner is fucking goofy too. It just kind of picks and chooses when it wants to stick through there. Use that overtake button. Where, where would you like me to use that overtake button? Huh? Where would you like me to use it? Because I'm not really seeing a whole lot of places I can use it. And I, I certainly don't see a whole lot of areas I can make up six seconds with it. So why don't you just shut the fuck up? Can you shut the fuck up? This is the one time I think I'm actually going to use this. Jeff, shut the fuck up. 
Best lap so far is a 1 minute 15.6. Shut up. Didn't catch that. Say again. Shut up, Jeff! Copy that. Now as I've given up a second trying to tell Jeff to shut the fuck up. Oh, there we go. Safety car. See, that's why I don't tell Jeff to shut the fuck up, because then something happens and he just, like, doesn't say anything. I just, I wish this game just, like, would shut, like... Any developer ever play this fucking game was like, Hey, you know, if he's got a lap worth of fuel on the last lap, maybe we shouldn't tell Jeff to say something. Maybe he should just not say anything in that scenario. I don't know. What's the point of it, you know? Well, what do I do? What do I do? Can I come in and get fresh tires and try to go for the win? Oh, man. Uh, well, I got some time to think about it. Uh, well, no, I mean, it's gonna bunch us up. I have a chance to go after Botas. And it's so hard to pass here. I'll just take my P2 or a win if I can. I don't think I'm faster than Botas, though, so I don't... Uh, try. I'd like to come in and get fresh tires, but... With these two guys right behind me, it's... I don't think that's gonna happen, so. Alright, Jeff. More updates. Understood, copy that. You fuck. It's the same way it is in fucking practice. Every time I load off in a practice, and it's been like this for years, it's something about the qualifying program. Let's like try out the qualifying program. You know, maybe before the qualifying, we should try out the qualifying program. So you don't shut the fuck up, man. Alright, well, late safety the car. Probably won't mean worth a damn for me, but bet your ass I'm gonna send it, Botas. You better watch it. It's that tire wear. Eh, I mean, it could be worse. I don't know how my the left front is worse than my, any of my rear tires. I'm not sure why that's the case at all, actually. Alright, well, here we go. Hands up. Who thinks I'm gonna beat Botas? And then hands up. Who thinks I'm gonna fucking lose? That's, that's where my hands are going. <laughs> I don't think I can get... Dude, he was so much faster on the hards, I don't understand why, really. I can keep up with him kind of like time- oh, ah, uh, 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 go fuck yourself. Shenanigans! I hate restart shenanigans. That was a boat ass start I've ever seen, and I see why they fucking <laughs> junked it up that one week. If you think you can get past, uh, you I don't think I can! can I ran, uh, what did that say, 114th? Ugh. It's not happening, it's not happening. I've already fallen without a second. I just don't understand where the extra time's coming coming from. So at this point, just blame it on a AI being OP. I mean, he doesn't like. I don't. It's, it's just fast everywhere. That's the thing, man. It's just fucking this fucking track. You either go like high down force, or you, you know you're pretty fast on straightaways. But usually it's pretty high down force, right? And. uh... Uh, this will be one of the few times where I get away with both since we're really strong in the powertrain this year now. And we got really good levels of downforce, so we can kind of just get a mix of both. Well, we got a mix of both, but not good enough. Fucking machines. Okay, at least it's not Lewis Hamilton. I can deal with losing a boat test, especially since he's like 100 points behind me or some shit. I don't know. I'm not quite that bad, but... I'll have to do the math. How many wins... Botas needs before he gets back up to <laughs> If I can finish second though every time, it'd be alright. Is this sad? I, I don't know what the fuck tires they gave him. I feel it should be on the softs or some shit. I don't know. That's what it feels like. Hey, he's so fucking fast. Two to go. And it's now pushed to two seconds. Cool. I'll be honest, I had Pretty good restart. I just, I just don't have enough. It's not a worse feeling, man. Just not having enough, no matter what you do. You can hit your marks every fucking lap. I mean, I've been hitting them pretty fucking good. Still fucking nothing. All right, well, white flag on another just outstanding Formula One race. Fun, fun, fun. Turn when you're ready, car. Okay, great. Jesus Christ, gonna give Jordan a fucking... Listen here, Jordan. I love you and all, but... No. Alright? No. 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 
Smart man. I rode this entire fucking race in second. Except for the first fucking corner. Alright? And if you think I'm giving up that spot to you, you got your fucking mind. Alright? Fuck's sake. I gave you everything I fucking had. Everything I fucking had. This is still come up fucking short. Alright? So I'm gonna take my P2 in points. And go on to the next fucking race with the points here, alright? If you want second, drive faster next time. Nope. You wish. You thought. Nope. Nope. Don't even look at it. Don't even think about it. Thank you very much. All right. Don't put them fucking hands down. I don't want to see no celebrations. We lost. I don't know. But <laughs> driver of the day, Nicholas. What the fuck did Nicholas Latifi do to get driver of the day? I don't want to see it. Nicholas wants to finish top 15. That's driver of the day worthy, I think. Yeah, whoop de fucking do, Botas. Must be nice that I don't even have to worry about a downforce or engine power or anything. You're just automatically fast. Great. Where's Lewis at? I didn't see no Lewis today. Yeah, congratulations. Big cup for Botas today, but you're gonna be looking at that scoreboard on Monday morning. That's real cool. Alright, that's what I'm saying. Do you see Nicholas and Sifi anywhere in this top 14? I don't. Botas with the win, Fast Lab was a 114.4. Mine was a 115.2. Right there with everybody else. That's what I don't like about this game sometimes. Is that like, I'll be, I'll be just, I'll be like barely the fastest car, but then they'll just like give you a Mercedes car that just like goes six tenths quicker than the whole rest of the field, yourself included. I hate when the fucking game does that shit. Where was Lewis Hamilton at? Why wasn't he so fast, huh? It just always happens to be P2 and points too. And the game always, like, the game doesn't like to lose. So it'll bend, bend the game around as much as it possibly can to try to get what it wants. Well, it got what it wanted today. It's got a lot more to go, though. Keep on trying, game. I ain't losing a fucking Mercedes this year. I'm not fucking doing it. I'm not doing it. Max Verstappen knows his place. P4, he ain't winning shit this year. Kvyat, great run for him. Albon, okay. Lewis Hamilton, P9, whoop de fucking do. Nabahara with another point for him. Great rookie season so far. Now, where, what did Nicholas Latif? He think he didn't even finish in the top 15. He finished 17th. Are you telling me Nicholas Latifi was the driver of the day because he went from 21st to 17th? What the hell is that? <laughs> what the hell is that? DeVries went a lap down. What an awful race. Ugh. That was gross. Well, I'm glad that shit's over with. P2, we'll take it. No, it, I know. Don't lie to me. I know what it was. It was shite. Another podium. You must Another podium. Used to it up there. I am getting used to, used to it up on the podium. Our power unit is really performing out there. I don't think it is. I don't think it is because I remember getting off the grid pretty good. All right. It was still a race off in a turn one. All right. I got out there pretty good. All right. And then Botas hit like 12th gear and just whoa, right by me. So I don't think, no, I don't think it is really performing out there. His perform. My chance him about his power unit. That's not, that wasn't the question, but still. Your team must be ecstatic with how you're performing. Well, I, I pay him to be ecstatic, so. <laughs> Do you have any comments about this team? Nope, I'm not concerning myself with them. With how them, do you yeah. Feel yeah. Your up on the podium. On the podium? Uh, good. I'm glad we're both there. I'm so proud. It's great to be on a team with someone so talented. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Uh huh. Any, anything else you'd like to ask me? Appreciate your time. That's what I thought. Well, that brings us to the Belgian Grand Prix, then. We got the season break coming up. Get to do another fun press interview. I'm really excited. Look at the updated point standings. Well, Botas, he's still got a ways to go. Jordan King, P4. I Man, he could get all the way up to P2. I'd love to sweep everything. Just one, one two in the drivers, and then the Constructors uh, Championship. That'd be great. Honestly, Jordan was probably faster than me this race. Uh, he, he was probably there at the end, but most of the race he wasn't. So, um, you know... Probably missed out on, on a couple of points there, but uh, give him another race to Botas eat some shit and he'll gain some more points back on him. But Verstappen's been consistently there, it just, you know, hasn't been consistently uh, P1, but uh, all in all, so far, once again, so good. So that brings us to the Belgian Grand Prix in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that was an awful race. Sorry if you didn't, but uh, hey, Spa is always fun, so we'll see you there.